why you should actually finish a game coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Vroman here with another indie game development tip. Uh, tip number nine, actually finish a game. Uh, so one thing that I see independent uh, game developers, especially new independent game developers, do a lot is they'll start a new project and they'll say, yeah, you know, this project's awesome. Uh, I can't wait to, to finish it up and release it and get a game out there. And yeah, it's going to be, this is going to be awesome. Uh, and then they don't finish it. They, they get uh, two months into it or so, or, or uh, you know, however long it is they work on it. And they sort of, they lose that drive to finish the game. Um, and they, so they don't finish it. They don't release it. Nobody else ever gets to see the work that they put into it. The blood, sweat, and tears uh, that have been poured into that game are lost, and, and nobody else gets to experience that. And it's, it's honestly, it's a damn shame. Um, and I feel like a lot of developers do this, and of course it's, it's impossible to quantify how many developers do it and how, much, how many projects are out there that just will never see the light of day because they never see the light of day. Um, so really, when you're, when you're setting out to, to develop a game, um, and this, this goes kind of in hand with, with the develop to ship, actually finish the game. Push yourself to finish the game. Um, and, and just remind yourself all the way through the development process, I need to finish this game. Um, and, and, don't give your, yourself a choice in the matter. Just uh, push yourself throughout the entire process to finish the game. Because I'll tell you, once you release that game and it's out on the market, um, regardless of whether it has positive or negative reception, um, that put aside, you will have done something that so many other game developers out there have not done. And that is release a game on your own. Uh, especially, I'm talking to mostly the independent developers out there. Um, you know, there are hundreds, thousands probably people who, you know, they'll, they'll buy a game engine, they'll buy all these tools, and they'll put a lot of work into a project, and they'll just never see the light of day. They'll never finish it. And even if you put together a very simple game, and you finish it, and you release it, you have done something that thousands of people around the world have not done. You have accomplished something that thousands of people have not accomplished. And that in and of itself is a huge accomplishment. Um, the minute that you can say, hey, I have a game on Google Play, or I have a game on the, the, uh, the Apple uh, App Store, that, that in and of itself is huge. Um, and the other thing is, it's it's great experience. Um, you know, there's there's nothing like uh, shipping a game. You know, the game development process itself is one thing, but the actual process of going through um, all the the hoops and stuff you have to jump through to actually release the game. Once you've done that, the the feeling of satisfaction is is so over the top. It to me, uh, the the feeling of satisfaction that I get from actually releasing the game. <clears throat> the feeling of, of satisfaction that I actually get from releasing a game actually far outweighs the process of developing the game um, because it feels like such a massive accomplishment to me and I'm so proud that, I will, that, I've, that I've done that. Um, and I say this as, as a person who, who works in game development also professionally, um, you know, as my full-time job, um, you know, we release games at work all the time, and that's done with, with a team of people, and that's great too. Um, but to also have games that I've developed on my own, single-handedly, develop those games, um, you know, from, from inception all the way through, you know, up till testing and, and then release on, on, on the market. To have done all that by myself, I still consider a massive accomplishment. And... Like I said, the feeling that you get from it is is second to none, to be completely honest. Um, so, whatever it is that you're working on, whatever project that you you decide to start, 
Um, and it's, again, this is not necessarily only related to game development. This can be really related to anything. It could be related to uh, a web application that you make, for example, or a desktop application. It could be anything. Um, whatever it is that you build, set out to ship it. Set out to finish it and get it out the door. Anyway, uh, there's going to be some more videos in the future talking about some of the concepts we've touched on in this video. So I don't really want to... Uh, to go into that much further in this video. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and please like this video. I really need the likes and uh, I need the subscriptions too. Uh, it really helps me out to get that feedback. Um, and please leave a comment below uh, and, and let me know if you guys have finished the game um, or are working on a project that you haven't finished or maybe that you want to finish and, and um, you know, let me know what you guys think, um, because I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.